Hi everybody, it's the Soap Man, and it's time to do a bonus soap video. <clears throat> Doing a few different things. I'm actually making three small batches of soap. The one I really intentionally started is going to be a lava soap. I'm actually using pumice sand, you know, volcanic ash from Brambleberry. My son recently completed a welding certificate program and has been working as a welder for a couple of months now, and he comes home filthy dirty, and my wife had mentioned um, buying lava soap, which I'm sure a lot of you've seen that. It's just a regular bar, you know, of, of uh, cold process type soap, and it has the pumice sand in it. And I thought, well, you know what? I can probably make a better one than that. I like 100% coconut oil soap in that instance because it lathers like crazy. You can add a lot of extra super fat, and I'm going to do that and put pumice sand in it. And of course, being the big tough welder guy he is, he doesn't want a pretty smelling soap. He wants a manly smelling soap. So I ordered uh, Brambleberries Made to Measure, which is a masculine scent. It got great reviews. It does smell great, and it just got fantastic reviews. So I'm going to scent that one. So that's really the main purpose of this. But I'm also doing a couple of other soaps. Now before I mention this, sometimes... Um, People write in when I do this. Uh, I'm using, uh, this is chicken fat soap, this is lard soap. I get it, there are vegetarians out there who don't eat animal products and I completely respect you. My daughter is a vegetarian, she's what I call an almost vegan. Once in a great while she'll have a bite of cheesecake and other than that she's vegan. So I completely understand, but my wife and I, my wife's son and I eat meat and we have this fat left over and I'm making chicken fat soap and lard soap as well. I have all of the different batches. I've got three stick blenders. Um, got my batches of lye already made up for all three. So let's go ahead and get started. I'm gonna start with the chicken fat. I did this one time before, and it actually, surprisingly, was not really that bad. So I thought I'd go ahead and try it again. I have found that animal fat soaps seem to take longer to trace, especially lard and tallow. Now, I put a little bit of um, colorant in these uh, for, you know, well, why not, really? So that's just the oil. These will be just to help in the kitchen. If you've watched me, you know I use my cold process to clean dishes, okay? So this will not be used in the shower. This is 100% soap, 0% super fat. Um, wouldn't hurt you, but it would be... You know, maybe a little caustic. You can wash your hands with it. Anyway, so let's go ahead and mix up my chicken fat soap. And this may take a while. Bear with me. Yep, this one is too. I found animal fat soaps seem to take a long time to trace. Now technically this is mixed, you know, it's emulsified, I can do it, but I really like to get this a little bit thicker. getting there. But just this small amount, you can see it takes a good while. I think. Well, I'm going to do a little bit more. Hit it one more time. Alright. Now, as you can see, there's going to be a lot of stick blending in this video, and I knew there would be. I planned on it. 
So just kind of bear with me with that. Let's get this into my mold. So there's chicken fat soap. And like I say, I did this one time before, and surprisingly, it was really not bad um, to you know wash your hands. Of course, I used it in the kitchen, like I say. Um, I was pretty surprised, rather pleased. Do you see, that's still fairly thin, even with all the stick blending I did. Get a little alcohol on that. Now, let's set that aside. Let's move you over here to the lard soap. Put a little bit of color in this too, because like I say, why not? Now this, um, this has a little bit more soap to it than that does. I had a little bit more oil, so I'm gonna make a little bit more soap with it. So I can tell that this mold's not gonna hold it all. So here we go with lard soap. This too will take quite a while to stick blend, so you know, feel free to fast forward if you'd like. See all those splatters, you see why we wear gloves and why we definitely wear goggles. This stick blender is a little bit too powerful for this smaller batch. I should have put this in the coconut one. Unfortunately, that's splattering away from me. Smells like bacon. I didn't refine it. I didn't boil it. I mean, I, I boiled it one time. No, I take that back. I take that back. I did not. Smells like bacon. This is just plain bacon grease. Sometimes you can boil it in water two or three times and then let it harden and float to the top and harden. And that'll get some of the bacon smell out. I didn't do that because, like I say, it's not for the shower. It's not for regular soap. That's good enough before I end up splashing it on me. Okay, so let me 
sitch back over here away from this mess and we'll get this in the mold and then we're going to get to the main one you're here for and this one I'll have to get an extra mold This little tray mold. Then I'll be able to cut it. Okay, so there is my large soap. And then, now this one's setting up a lot better. This one's getting nice and thick already. All right, I'm out of, out of alcohol. I'll do that off camera. Okay, now let's set this aside and get to the lava soap, the main reason I'm here. So, this is 100% coconut oil. Generally, you want to do that at 15% or 20% super fat. Um, I did it at 15 because I doubt this will be used in the shower. It's going to be for hands, and I just really wanted a stronger, a stronger cleansing soap for my dirty son when he comes home after a hard day at work. And that's what I wanted. I wanted it sort of gray. It went black. I wanted a little bit of gray, so that looks just about right. So let's put the lye water in and get this mixed up. I was going to start with one teaspoon. Did I say tea or tablespoon? No. Two teaspoons. Sorry. Two teaspoons. And then see what it looks like because I can always add more if I want it. And I don't want a stick blend anymore because I don't want this in my stick blender. So put two teaspoons of hummus in. See what it looks like. I can always add more if I have to. I want to Yeah, I think I'm going to put more. I think I'm going to double that. it since the soap is gray we'll put my scent oil in let's see I don't remember does this one let's see slightly accelerates good because actually I want it to I want it to thicken up a little bit Get this thickened before I pour it because I don't want all that, that all, volcanic ash to soak to the bottom, to sink to the bottom. I 
think whether I want to or not, I'm going to have to stick blend it. I really don't want to. I don't want my stick blender in this, but I think I'm going to have no choice. So here we go. Too much on that one. I'm gonna keep this. I wanted to keep one for myself and give him the rest. I'm gonna keep this real small one for me. Now let's. Yeah, that really thickened up that time with the stick blending and the centaur, but I wanted it to. Those are thickening. Chicken fat's taking its time, but chicken is a really soft fat, so I knew it would take a while. All right, folks. There we have it. Lava soap with volcanic ash for my son, the welder. Small one for me. Chicken fat soap and large soap for cleaning in the kitchen. I use it uh, to wash dishes. I actually have a video out there of that. So here we go. I'll be back on Thursday for my regular soap making. You actually won't see this video until these have cured for at least a couple of weeks. I'll get them out and do a lather test. So anyway, I will see you later, and thanks for watching. Bye.